all right y'all so real quick before this video starts man it is all over the place um because it's a compilation of reactions from some of the homies to hearing vader for the very first time and then also at the end of the video i went ahead and put in kind of like my first well real thoughts after driving the car for a while we're having the full interior back in the car um letting you guys know how i feel about the exhaust as far as the daily driven aspect you know what i'm saying because at first when i installed it the car was set up for the track it was completely gutted so it was super loud there was barely any sound deadening at all so i couldn't really tell you guys as far as the daily aspect went but now that I got the interior inside the car and was able to drive it a couple of days, um, I was able to give you guys a solid opinion. So with that being said, man, make sure you watch this video all the way through. Go ahead and hit that like button right now for the kid and subscribe if you're new. And let's go ahead and roll that intro. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We in with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lives, real lives, all the time stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go. Let's go to work before somebody comes outside. <laughs> Mr. Race Car Driver. What's up, baby? What's up, Mr. Race Car Driver? What's going on, baby? Fast guy. Fast guy. Don't nobody want to race this guy. Hey, talking too much. I want to hear that shit. Don't, don't nobody want to race this guy. I don't know why. This shit's slow as fuck. I don't know why they don't want to race him. They're all scared. This shit's slow as hell. You know? Hey, man. Fuck man, let me let them know what you think about the... Look at that truck. I don't give a fuck about that damn truck. God damn. Damn, them hoes fucking huge. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, in video, they look normal, but they're fucking huge. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> what the fuck? That <laughs> boy said on video they look normal. Bro, you got cannons. You got cannonball cannons. <laughs> Literally cannonball cannons. It, it, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, this bitch is clean though. I like them. I like them. Yeah. I like them. I fuck with them. I'm waiting for I'm, Like I said, damn. That's hella cool. Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We'll wait for them to clear out for a bit. Cause I want to rev it for you. You yeah. gotta. Yeah, no. It's the startup alone is gonna have you shitting yourself. But the revs, the revs, that's a different type all of. Right, that's right, a different right, type right, of vibe. Right. Come on to the the passenger side. Go ahead and open the door, bud. You wanna go for a ride along? Got it. Oh, -hoo -hoo. God damn, boy, you fully got it. God damn. <laughs> I told you, bro, max effort today, man. No cap. No cap. This are, showtime. Are you going to take them time, the time that you want? What, what time did... Because I haven't told them yet, so... I can't say. Nah, it's okay. Go ahead. I forgot what was the time that you what, wanted. What do like, you What do you guess, though? I say... What were you hitting before? Okay, so before, the best time was 11.7. I say tens. Tens? Tens. You'll hit you'll hit ten? You'll hit ten. So you're thinking like ten point ninety nine. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ten ninety nine. Yeah. Okay, interesting. I was I'm And I, a faster mile per hour. Okay, I know the mile per hour I'm pretty sure it's gonna trap. Yeah. 
higher? Uh, I believe it was trapping at 119, 120. Yeah. It should trap, hopefully, I'm hoping for at least 128, 129, yeah. which would get me like an 11 1, 11 2. And that's where I'm trying to be at. 11 0 is great, 10 9 is even better. Yeah. But a 10 1, 10 2, that's at least I know, you know what I'm saying, that, that NRG sauce is legit. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. I think when when Brian leaves here, we'll we'll get going, okay? When Brian pulls off. Alright. I'll rev it, I'll rev it later. I think the startup yeah. is enough. Damn, that shit's short. <laughs> Smells so good. It smells good. It yeah, smells about, so I, good. I was, I was about to say that. I like it. It's chill. It's not like dumb loud, but it sounds deep. Oh no no no, it my friend. Deep. No my friend. It's it's dumb loud. It's just not dumb loud at idle. On load, yeah, it's it's stupid. No, it has that deep like. Yeah hell yeah. Like you feel it in your chest type shit. Like the sound waves type. Good. We don't promote no homo sapien. Okay. I fuck with it. Okay. I approve. Oh, well, I don't give a fuck if you approve or not. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? But yeah, man, you know. There's the people here, man. It's not gonna sound like this for too much longer. That stock can't do me at work, boy. You made it worse by walking in the garage, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I did make it work, but I I told you. Like a bomb. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. So in today's video, man, um, you guys see the title. You see the thumbnail. I'm going to be talking about a couple things, man. And I thought, you know, what better way to, you know, go over these topics than, you know, hop in the car and just doing a quick little, you know, in-car vlog. So, guys, if you guys watched, you know what I'm saying? as the best time in the quarter mile now the da was pretty bad um it was pretty hot outside so you know get in the car to kind of stay cool and fight that heat soak was kind of difficult i did get a bag of ice um and put it on the intake manifold and stuff like that to try to you know keep the car cool when i wasn't running it um and i was you know going by 30 minute increments um or intervals between each run so that the car wasn't too hot i tried not to hot lap it too much um i hot lapped it once um and it ended up that was when the car went 11 8 and then it doubled back and went 11 7 off that hot lap um you know i just was having problems getting off the line in general um you know from reaction time to you know fighting spinning issues traction issues was a very big thing that track event um which kind of opened up kind of opened up my eyes a lot um you know what i mean um as far as what tire setup i'm running on the drag pack um right now i'm currently running the mickey thompson et street sss um and you know everybody's been telling me that that tire is basically a good tire for you know more 
roll racing versus you know actual dig racing so with that being said you know what i mean i definitely saw that last night um it does take a part in the fact that you know the tire that it is but it also the other part to the traction issues was definitely the track prep itself one thing about houston raceway is just prep that track in the morning and then you know if somebody breaks going down the track that's pretty much it so yesterday while they were doing the little burnout pit you know what i'm saying it's yesterday for me but a couple days for you guys but while they were doing the water for the burnout uh box you feel me it was like bro was just legitimately just spraying the water everywhere and so <laughs> Even if you, you know, try to avoid the water and then back your back tires in it or, you know, go through it and then pass up to get to the dry patch or do the burnout, you're still in water. It was just that much water there. So with that being said, you know, I couldn't grip. You feel me? So uh, I will be changing my tire setup for sure. Um, another thing that I want to go ahead and talk about is just as you guys can you know see i have the interior back in the car man um so i went ahead put the back seats back in and the passenger seat back in the car and i must say if you guys you know watch the video of the first drive with the new exhaust setup then you guys would know that one of my uh you know comments was the car is definitely uh, hella, hella drony with this exhaust setup. And it's basically a straight pipe um, from the headers back with no cats. Um, so, you know, I expected it, but it was just insane. But I did mention that I didn't have the interior in the car. So that definitely played a role um, in the, you know, in how loud the car was inside. to go fill up on e85 and i'm just gonna keep driving it around with the seats in and get you guys an honest review on the exhaust um since i've had it for some time now and then just wanted to give you guys kind of an update um on where i am with the car after the track day um you know what i mean i'm, I'm happy the car did well i didn't break anything was able to beat on it and then bring it back to the house literally an hour away so you know that's always that's always a dub you feel me so that being said man like i said i'm gonna drive the car around for a little bit more man and just keep you guys posted for sure